right. so let me talk about one of the things that stuck out for me on the build up so obviously bernard's releasing daily content it was the quality day video mm -hmm. right and it yeah. gets to 1616 bear in mind he's had the crash that we've just talked about his hands banged up he's going up for his quality run he's last man on the mountain so at 1616 he's in the start gate okay we can we can have the clip we can have the clip in the background rolling the whole time we probably won't make it to the end of it but okay this moment for me was like it was like a profound realization of yeah. how much I don't want to do that for a job. <laughs> it's lonely so up there, there. Her, the Welsh oh, wind. Dude, yeah, just up there at the top of a Welsh mountainside. There's, it almost makes it worse that there's like four or five, in, in Bernard's GoPro, you can see four or five people on the start hut all working for the broadcast or whatever, the track, whatever. They're just there. No one's talking. The atmosphere is just like, it's course hold. There's, there's nothing sort of, um, there's nothing that gets you inspired to ride about it. And bear in mind, it's probably been three hours since he's last been on yeah. a bike or whatever. Maybe more, maybe more. And, yeah. and you're just sat up there, dude. The clip will still be going. You'll be just sat up there testing your brakes, fiddling with your clips. You know, like, oh. what do you do? That's what I, I don't have any of that in That's me. Nervous energy. Yeah, right. I'll tell you how it would go. Where do you put it up there? This About this point in the clip, I think yeah. I'd probably break down into tears. Um, <laughs> I might faint. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it going through your head? You're just thinking like, fuck it at this point. Like, you know, just throw it all out there and see what happens. Or are you a bit more like mindful? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I guess you'd probably, you've probably got a list of things. You know, you can't remember everything on a track that's two minutes something long but you you'll have a, yeah. a tick list of things that your lines that you're trying to hit obviously a certain amount of it is reactive it's not pre-planned it's like whatever's coming up you're reacting to it but within those reactions you'll have a list of things where you're like i need to go right of that route i need to do this bernard's probably dropped in now he's on his uh, first place qualifying run but man I, I think anyone who wants to be a racer needs to watch that clip and just imagine themselves in there you know what i mean actually yeah. imagine themselves in there because it's uh, it was quite something for me it was like i was just sat there like Ugh. bernie probably the didn't pressure even... of that event dude is yeah i'd love to know any idea in like idea what the viewing figures are i think it's, it's got to be similar to rampage would you say i i honestly don't know i, I really don't know it can't be bad more though. than a world it's cup got... less than a world cup it'd be interesting to know mm. Wouldn't it? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Um, I'm sure we've got, I know we've got a listener to the podcast that can help us out with those figures, but we'll have to get yeah. in touch with him and find out. But yeah, yeah what, what a build up, eh? What a build up. I can't remember where yeah. we were now because we had slight technical difficulties. We did. On the subject of BK though, I think it's mm. worth mentioning. So he's coming into this event favourite, let's say. Definitely yeah. favourite, right? Already won it twice, I think. Three times. Yeah. I can't remember yeah, three, three times, times. And, he, and he's three on times. a high this season. Yeah, he's on a high. He's coming off, you know, fifth in the overall standings and you know, all the podiums and all sorts of stuff. I think it's a credit to the lad for stepping up, jumping stuff first, and literally being like the leader of the pack. It looked like you know, yeah. sending stuff first, getting on with it. I think in his position, it would have been easier to sort of not play it safe, but let other people test stuff out first in the hope that maybe. Maybe some people go down. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But no, he just, you know, like we were talking about before, hopefully we've got that clip, but sending the big stuff first yeah, and just being there to, you know, be a mentor to some of the people that haven't done it before, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you can stay strong. beating him as well, which is crazy. Yeah. If you can stay strong and do it how he's, how, how Bernard does it, I think mm. you, you can only have a psychological advantage. If you're the one who's the least, um, the most prepared for the event and the yeah. one who's sort of gone out of his way to do everything first, like you say, and carry it all a bit. Like yeah. it, it's got to be a good feeling at the end when you're lining up, hasn't it? Definitely. It'd be interesting to know his mindset. Yeah. Know that we can get into that with him at some point soon that like, you know, is his mindset different from a world cup? Obviously the atmosphere is extremely different up there. Rachel attested that, uh, spoke about that too, saying, you know, this at a World Cup, you've got your mechanic with you. You've got all sorts of people up there, spinning bikes, music. At Hardline, you just 
up there on a Welsh mountain, dude, just in the breeze, just waiting to drop in. Yeah. <laughs> what are yeah. your What are your thoughts on the timing of the event? As as yeah, as far as it being at the end of a World Cup season, do you think that's right? Do you think it should be in the middle at the start? Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!